Here's a gearbox that has uh, close to 500 hours on it. The last one we opened up had uh, a little over three. And that was a hard run one that was done in New Zealand by Dean Phillip in his competition stall flying. And it was perfect inside. This one, um, being close to 500, has some, uh, well, we don't know if it has any damage, but it did have a, a prop strike recently. Uh, so we're gonna open it up and just see, inspect it basically, see what the, but, and also the airplane kind of changed owners. Um, started out with Mike Baker up in Ohio and then he flew a bunch of hours and then he, he sold it and and uh, had a little mishap with it uh, after that. So we'll open it up and just kind of see what we got. Um, preliminary, just kind of looking at it, everything seems fine. It's turning fine. You don't see any cracks anywhere. Um, now what nice you did see is, is we did remove the torsion damper already. It was about time for it to be replaced yeah, and I think it's got as many hours as the um, as the whole airplane thing. The, the pieces actually are over here. Now this is how we cut them years ago. We don't we don't make them like this anymore. So I know they they have a lot of hours on them, and uh, yeah, they're they're fine too. And even after that uh, that prop strike, you know, the nice thing about a prop strike is is this thing here. Even if this does fail in a prop strike and the propeller fails, once you inspect the gearbox, you're kind of good to go again. Um, and that that's obviously a, an advantage with with this engine because with the with a direct drive engine you'd be out basically tearing the whole engine down or, or maybe a new engine so so the, the you know cost difference could be an inspection of a gearbox maybe a rubber coupling and some blades versus you know in the 20s 20,000 for a for a new engine so that's good let's open her up are you gonna help we need some assistance we took a momentary break. Uh, doggy pee pads also work out really great to uh, pick up gear oil. You can see he's putting the screws in. That's to pull it apart. Yeah, let's, let's take the, these little guys out. worried about gearboxes sometimes this one's got almost 500 you know and, the, and it's not even that it's how easy they are to work on if you ever had to take it apart or, or put it in a box and ship it back to us or something like that or anyone that runs a, a gearbox nice and clean so I guess uh, we'll clean this up and then uh, once we get a I mean the oil is you know, obviously the oil is like brand new we don't know how old the oil is but everything looks real nice there's the, the rear bearing for that it spins nice yep it all looks perfect so let's clean it up and take another look all right, so we got the two uh, halves cleaned up a little bit. I did use a, a razor blade to scrape this, so you see a little scratches here, but I, I didn't scratch up here. You can see how, like I said in my last video, there's no fretting corrosion, meaning there's no movement between parts, which is something I always look for and I never see. So that's that's a good sign that it's, it's like that. Um, it did clean up real nice. Uh, bearings is perfect, bearings are perfect here. We can't uh, rely on all of the bearings being perfect because of the prop strike, so we're not gonna assume that they are, but they feel fine, so, but we're still gonna replace them. And that's the same with this uh, side of it. Everything spins fine, no binding, no funny sounds. You don't see anything wrong, but it's all gonna come apart, and we gotta put all new bearings in, and then uh, inspect the uh, the case, and uh, back together it goes. Here, box mounted, we're gonna take the the Jesus nut off with the big mama here. That's a lot of torque. There it is. And then uh, we'll switch over to something a little bit smaller. And then we'll pull the nut and then we'll pull the hub. And press everything apart. And we'll take another look at it. All right, so we pulled the old bearings out, putting the brand, brand new bearings in. 
Got it all nice and hot. And then we're gonna put a new seal in. There's the old seal. There's some of the old bearings. Um, so we'll let that cool down. And then uh, new seals. I'm gonna put a couple of new bearings in here. That all looks fine. So I'm gonna put a new seal in. The only thing I could find after careful inspection was uh, right down in here. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's, uh, there's a missing piece of the seal right there. And that might be from uh, the uh, prop strike, but not really sure. Could also be a defect in the seal because it doesn't look doesn't look damaged from this side. So, all new bearings and back together. I'm just going over some of the pieces while Jan is pressing in a new gear into the gearbox. There was apparently one tooth of the gear during impact that has some damage on it, so we're gonna have to replace it. It's our understanding that there was a pretty hard prop strike. It wasn't, um, it wasn't minimal, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that as well. Overall, the lucky thing is it's an affordable, quick repair, and we'll have this guy out to him tomorrow. So it's not like, we did in fact find one issue, put it, took it apart, put all new parts in it, put it back together. Gearbox is perfect right now, but we also wanted it to be perfect uh, when it goes back to the customer certain things that you know you can all we always think about or i think about when i just run through a gearbox like this i got some bearings out they they spin like they're brand new and everything but i just i just can't see myself like putting them back in because bearings are 25 30 40 dollars a piece and i basically when it comes to something like this like 40 dollar bearing versus somebody flying over the woods we just put the all new bearings in all new bearings the, the, the stuff that's relatively inexpensive new bearings new seals uh use the housings use the gears uh rubber coupling always a new rubber coupling a new centering bushing and all that now it did have a harsh crop strike this one this one went right into concrete or it, it went into something hard um so I was looking at the gears really carefully on my magnifier over there with the, with the uh, bright light. And I was finding that the input gear, uh, looking at all the different gears or the teeth of the gear, I found one tooth, actually it was two right next to each other. And those were the ones that took the load at the prop strike. So no failures or anything, but you can see the mark in the, two, in the two teeth. And because of that, we have no idea what's left for strength in this tooth and this tooth. Probably will last another whatever number of hours, but obviously not taking that chance. So we put a new gear in for him. This gear is relatively inexpensive. You know, it all depends on how you look at it. If it was a certified gear for a geared Continental or something, probably a couple of thousand dollars. Our price for that gear is $300. So. Well, I think something to keep in mind, too, is that if you look at the gear other than the marks from the prop strike, it is completely looks like it's brand new. So the gearbox has 500 hours on it. The gear still looks brand new. And other than the piece that, you know, we've decided to replace just for safety concerns. The gearbox is now ready and going back on UPS to the builder.